Hi guys, welcome back. Just carve Rob. Okay, so where are we at, Rob? Well, this is where we're at, guys. We got some skulls. We got some flames. We got another skull. We got some more flames and skulls and skulls and flames, and we still got more flames to go. But I'll tell you what, it has taken forever to carve all these flames in. And I still have like 30 million years of sand in the go. To get all this stuff sanded out. And then we got to come in here and do some wood burning. You guys might get to see that today. The wood burning thing. Okay. Um, I was just going to show you a little bit of the flame stuff we got going here. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we're, we're, holy cow, we're almost done with the flames. We only got that much more to go. So, uh, this video, uh, you can see the flames are drawn on with pencil. I'm going to go over it. I got, I picked up some fine tip felt markers yesterday. Um, I do not know how, I'm going to take a piece of this wood that I got and try them on it. Uh, because a lot of times the marker will into the grain, you know, and it ends up blowing everything out. So. I got to go out in the car and get the markers. Anyway, so that's what we're doing today. We're going to finish up these flames. Hopefully, we get them done today. Um, going to use our ruby bits and our diamond bits, and we're going to come back and we're going to shape all this stuff. You can see we got it pretty much shaped, but I think it needs a little more sanding. So, and then we're going to come in with the wood burner and we're going to sharpen all these lines up with the wood burner. Okay. Um,. The flame design is a combination between what uh, Jordy over at Carbon Fusion has done and Phil Gropp. Phil made a um, sculpture, let's call it a sculpture, a carving sculpture though. Um, with some, he got some really big cottonwood bark. And he made a sculpture that had a, a devil's head or some kind of evil demon head that was eating a, a, eating a guy and he had smoke and stuff. So we're incorporating a little bit of what we learned from Phil Gropp and a little bit of what we learned from Jordy Johnson um, for flames. My flames are a little bit different than Jordy's. Mine kind of fade in and out of each other. He did some awesome flame work on a Grim Reaper that he's working on. Yeah. Check out those videos. And, uh, yeah, Ben over there at Studio on the Lake, man. He, that guy is crazy. He took a, Jordy sent him some cottonwood bark and he made a, uh, I don't want to call it a fairy house. It's more like a little village scene, kind of like a housing project for gnomes, I guess. And he's making a cuckoo clock. So you really need to go over and check out Ben. Uh, Studio on the Lake. That's his channel, Studio on the Lake. So you need to go check out Ben. Uh, ben has... It's a really cool, it's only, I think it's only about like maybe 12 inches, 15 inches long. And he carved all these little houses like built into a mountain and stairs. And he painted it and he mounted it to a piece of, I don't know, I think I'm, I'm thinking since Ben has all the basswood in the world. I'm thinking it was a piece of basswood he mounted it to, to hang on the wall. It's really neat looking guys. You have to go check that out. He did a little tutorial, tutorial, tutorial on it. So go check out it. Go check it out over there at Ben. See Ben. Studio on the Lake. Um, so let me get my markers. And we'll get the... Um, I'll see if they're going to spread too much. If they do, we won't be using markers. So maybe I'll just take an ink pen and darken these flames up so you guys can see what they look like. All right? Okay, yeah. I'm not going to use the marker. You see how it really blew it out? This was a thin line marker too. And it just kind of went... Pfft. So this is what we're after here. This kind of stuff. So, um, we will be using our SCM high speed air tool and a detail bit. This is not a detail bit, this is a, a ball cutter bit here. We will be using a detail bit, which is this guy. Focus. See how pointy that is? So that's what we're going to be using. 
right there in our SCM high speed air tool. Um, we'll be tracing all of these flames that we've drawn in there. And then we'll come back and we'll be using a combination of that little ball cutter I just showed you. And um, our mini carver with the cut saw coarse bit to uh, clean all the overburden wood out of there. And do a little rounding with that. And then we'll come back with a probably combination of uh, football diamonds for this. And uh, football burrs, diamonds, and, you know, bigger diamonds, and ruby burrs with this guy. So, let's fire up the vac, fire up the radio, and fire up the uh, SCM, and, and uh, let's get carving, guys. I'll show you a little bit of flame work. And then, uh, I'm not going to show you a lot, I'm going to show you a little bit, uh, maybe a couple flames, and... We'll get them all carved out, and then uh, the next time you see me, we'll be using our wood burner. Um, I don't know, maybe we'll try the wood burner down here at the bottom and see what the flames look like with the wood burnt. We'll give it a try. Um, I don't know if a wood burn whole stick. Depends on what this part down here looks like. If it looks good, we'll do the whole thing. I'll give you some video on that. So hang on. Here we go. All right, guys, here we go. We're going to take the SCM with the detail tool. It's a really cool tool. It's a uh, burr. It comes right down to a very sharp point, sharper than you could ever get on a pencil. And uh, we're just going to plunge in there. Uh, always on the first cut. We're not going to go very deep, maybe a 30 second, maybe a hair more. And this is just giving us our uh, a good, basically, stop cut line. So when we come in here with the uh, other burrs, we can just run right up to that. And that'll be our stop cut. Okay. This can be accomplished with uh, knives or V, V gouge, V tool, parting tool. There's so many names for it. Um, usually, uh, you're going to have a lower relief carving when you're using V, V tools, but they work really good for uh, following your lines to get everything set. You can do the same thing with a knife. Um, instead of days, though, it ends up taking weeks. I have done many carvings with nothing but knives and gouges. And um, believe me, the SCM high-speed air tool uh, really speeds up your carving time. And it makes everything a little... A little sharper you know because um, you can get right down in there and have them good sharp lines that you want I actually I think I carved this stick a lot deeper than I wanted than I originally intended to um, I was aiming for low relief carving and it kind of ended up being a high relief carving which means you go deeper but it's all right And as you've seen in our earlier videos, um, I did not feather back from the skulls. And the reason I didn't do that is because I had, I wanted my flames to be on the same uh, level as my skulls. And I knew once I started carving the flames in down to the skulls, it was going to relief the skulls even more. So it makes the skulls pop out of the wood a little bit better. Had I uh, feathered away all the wood from the skulls, um, I guess I could have had my flames with a lower relief. 
but uh, I kind of wanted wanted the flames to be mixing through the skulls, you know. So I wanted the, the wanted the flames higher out of the wood, which, uh, to my great surprise, it actually came out like it was planned for once. Is that strange? I mean, nothing ever comes out the way I plan it. Okay, we've switched over. We've gone from the little ball burr. Now we have the, uh, we're using the micro carver with the cut saw course. It doesn't have the little pointy things on it. It does have the, uh, it's, it looks like stone, but I've, I know I've said this a thousand times. It looks like stone, but it's not. It's uh, tungsten. And I've used this bit here probably for five years. And it's getting near time for replacement, I think. Uh, so you see how I'm, I'm constantly using the end of it? And you'll find that with a lot of bits. You end up wearing out the end and then the middle and the back. It's still like new. So I guess um, I could take it and take it to the grinder and cut off the burnt part down there at the bottom. But then you wouldn't have no uh, cutting surface right at the end. It would just be from wherever you stopped the cut. If you took your Dremel with one of them cuts all, cuts, uh, uh, fiber wheels and chop that off. Um, the problem, the only problem you'd have is that you would have no, no, uh, grit or cutting, cutting surface. There you go. Cutting surface at the bottom where you cut it flat. I don't think that that, that, uh, stuff I don't think it's a solid piece of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like if you cut a Brillo, it's still got the the fuzzy, the fuzzy Brillo stuff. I think if you cut this, you're going to have hard steel. I think this is coated or um, it reminds me a lot of weld splatter. But I don't know. One of these days, I'll I'll order a new one and I will cut the tip off from one of these old ones uh, to see what's in there. Okay, we're changing out. What are we changing to? I think we're going to change to the saber tooth straight bit. Yep, there it is. Love that straight bit, guys. Um, saber tooth. Uh, go check out Kyle Hall. He just did a review on saber tooth bits. Uh, they have now. They have three different styles white which is called whisper very fine uh yellow which is your uh, medium grit and then green which is your coarse grit uh, so i use i have both i have saber tooth and i have cut saw oh looks like we're gonna change out what are we going to we're going back to the cut saw bit um, I am not affiliated with Cuts All or Sabretooth. So, I guess I should get a hold of those guys and see if they want to sponsor me. Because I blow through, oh boy. Just in the last month, I spent a ton on, <coughs> sorry, diamonds and stuff. Diamonds and different types of bits, burrs. But and uh, this the this bit here works very well with the uh, micro carver. I've had these. I had these bits a lot longer than I've had this microcarver. And it's time for them to get replaced, you know. They wear out. Um, and it, it don't matter how hard you push on, they're going to wear out. And you can see we're taking that and we're, we're rounding everything over and cutting stuff down. Uh, giving the bit some shape. Or the wood some shape. Okay, now we're back to the saber tooth straight bit. I wish that these guys made a more pointy bit uh, with the, you know, with the with the same bite. 
it seems like once you get down to this size, um, that's where they stop. This is an eighth inch burr, and the 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 little points, that diameter of that is probably three sixteenths. I would like to see more of a pointy burr uh, with that with the uh, the little spiky things on it. You know, in a smaller diameter. Guys, before we start this wood burning project, I needed some inspiration. So, I took this piece of red cedar that my good buddy Jordy Johnson sent me from Carbon Fusion. Needed some inspiration. Whenever I need inspiration, I just got to look at this awesome flower Jordy carved me and sent to me. He gifted it to me. Now, Jordy's not a particular fan <clears throat> of this flower, but I think it's awesome, and that's what matters. Thank you, Jordy. Inspiration all the time right here, guys. Yeah, right. So, we're, I made a new tip. Uh, our friend Pete Blair up there in Ladner, Canada, sent us some wire. Some wire. And... Uh, yeah, so I made a new tip. Those other ones that come with it, I don't know. They just, they're too heavy, I think. So, I guess we need to turn on our wood burner. Start bringing the temperature up. Maybe. <laughs> that got hot. I got the fan blowing on me. So we might have to run just a fuzz hotter than we normally would. Bring some light into the situation. Hmm, might have to crank it up a little bit more. I think I made this tip kind of long, so it might take more heat to uh, get it to start burning here. Crank it up a little bit more. We're at 46. And it's just starting to burn. Changing colors. 54. Yeah, Jordy burnt his uh, wood burner up today. He's carving a rolling pin. Oops, I don't know if he wanted me to tell you guys that. Forget it. Forget Forget what I said. I don't know what Jordy's doing. Said something about going out and flying his quadcopter around his drone. He's going uh, looking for that super stash of driftwood. Maybe I need to shorten this up a little bit. Or maybe my wood burner is getting ready to take a crank. Get ready to crap out on me. <clears throat> I should upgrade to a... Upgrade to a better wood burner. This is just a cheapy cheapo one off of the Amazon just the cheap old one it 
See, I've got this cranked up to 66, and I never run this this hot. big of a difference this is going to make. It could be the fan too. The fan could be cooling this thing off pretty quick. Yep. Yeah. Didn't have that much time today to work on this. Had to go mow the grass. Takes about three hours to mow the grass. And I've got a Cub Cadet Zero turn. And it still takes three hours. My old mower used to take all day. I'm mowing like four acres though, so. That could be why it's taking. Takes a while. Takes a while to get her mowed. It does, but is what it is. Got to be mowed. I think I'm gonna have to shorten the legs up on this thing. Just doesn't want to. Let's kick it up a little bit more. Let's take it up to seventy. All right. Looks like seventy is the number. Oh, that was my finger. Look at that burnt. Ooh, burnt my finger. Keep your fingers out of the way, Rob. Wow. Smells like somebody's burning a baseball glove in here. Ooh, that's going to hurt later. Well, that was a very unsmart thing to do. Yeah, um, I should I should buy a better wood burner. Should get one like that, uh, something like the one Ben has over there, Studio on the Lake. The only thing I don't like about uh, the one that Ben has is the the burning tips are are permanent in the pin. Uh, so pretty much what you got is what you got. Now, I don't know about the razors. I have to do a little research into them. Razor tip ones. They have, uh, I don't know if they have the removable tips. I think they do. But them guys, them things are spendy, man. It costs more for that razor wood burner than it did my micro carver. Yeah. Nice day, though. Not too hot. We're going to pay for that this week, though. It's supposed to get up into the 90s and hot and humid and all that good crap. So we may just have to turn on the AC out in the old Just Car Rob shop. I know, guys. This is, this is terrible, painful for you guys to watch. That's why we're not going to do too awful much of it. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to cut this down so I can get more heat to it. We're up to 72. Or maybe I got to separate it right there. Maybe it's losing something. Let's see. I got a little screwdriver.
I don't know. I don't know if that's going to do anything. Not the workbench off. Okay, guys, this is where we're going to end this video. It's getting really long. So uh, be awesome. Carve something awesome. Share, subscribe, and like. Bye.